We're back again. What the heck's going on here today? That's right. Two videos in one day. Things are crazy here on Farm Sim 22, so uh, new mods did come out. While I made the video on patch 1.3, so we got quite a few awesome things to look at. As you can see right in front of me, the TLX, which a lot of people have been waiting for that to be updated for console. Well, it is updated for console now, so hopefully it'll work better for you. All right, but let's go check out some of the other things real quick. We're going to go over some new things just real fast. And I got everything. Everything that is available is on this plot of land real quick. So hopefully that'll make it nice for you to actually look at it. All right, so first up is the old brick well. The old brick well by 810 Mods, Lewis Mods. And that is a perfect source of free and clean water. Price, $1,000. Free water. Unlimited water filling. Uh, manufacturer Lizard. That's going to be in the container category. And it's cross-platform. Everything we're covering on this video is cross-platform. So go check it out. That is the old brick well. All right. Let's walk over to the next thing. So these are two. They're both made by the same people. We got a diesel fuel. And then you're deaf, add blue. So we got both of these here. These are both made by Missy B, I think is how you would say it. And this is an update. This was already available, but some of you may have never used it. So, but it is an update. It's called fuel storage. And fuel storage for your farm holds diesel and deaf. Capacity for diesel, 10,000 liters. It's going to cost you $2,500. The DEF is 10,000 liters at $2,500. And it's going to be in the container category. Manufacturer, Lizard. You just place it on your farm and fill it up with uh, what you want to use to fill up your equipment. All right. And that's made by Missy B. All right. On to the next one, I. Where'd my doggy go? We got a new dog house, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fill that bowl with some food. Come on. Come get your food. Come get your food. Tina, it's what's for dinner. Come on. Get that food. All right, so we do have a new dog house, and that is called Placeable Dog House by 810 Mods, Lewis Mods, which is the same guy who made the old brick well. And that is a placeable doghouse for your farm. It's going to cost $2,500 category animal pens when you're doing, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're doing your construction. So check that out if you want a, a new fancy little doghouse, eh? All right. Next, we're going on to a light pack. This is a new light pack called Street Lamps. Looks like it comes with four different lights. This is made by Team JZD Vidhostis. Vid hostess. Street luminaries ensure safe operation, perfectly illuminate large spaces, and can withstand problems with a long service life even in demanding exposed places. Discharge lamp two time price between 200 and 300 pounds. Uh, LED lamp two times is going to be 400 to 600 pounds. This is the author Team JZD Vid hostess. It's going to be under the decoration category. And it's cross-platform as well, like I say. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, very nice. All right. Uh, I don't think we can turn them on when we're, like, right near them. No. So just, you know, when it's nighttime, I guess I could show you real quick. Watch. Let's fast forward time a little bit, I. And let there be light. Let there be light. Very nice. So you got your LED and then your basic lights. Those are your options. Pretty cool. All right, we'll speed back time. All right, there you go. The time mod is for PC only. I apologize. But that was just to show you an example of what it looks like in the dock. All right. So there you go, those, those mods. Now we're going to look at the actual equipment in-game mods here, which are pretty stinking fancy. We got some good ones today. Let's start with the TLX. I know a lot of people 
been missing the old TLX here. Let's get this deactivated. There we go. All right, TLX um, has been updated and should work fine on console now. At least we're hoping so, right? Uh, let's take a look at it real quick. You can actually go into the actual menu here. So TLX, this is all the options. This is, of course, made by 82 Studio. And uh, look at all these attachments. You got trailers, you got four different trailers, tanker, log trailer, yard trailer, a tip trailer. Then you got all your attachment attachments for bales, uh, forage, logging, tank, uh, open bed with no door on the back, door on the back, flat bed, and then of course your bed. All those have to be attached. The truck comes as the truck. So you have the single cab and the single cab 6.7, which has more horsepower between 450 to 510. Your basics 280 to 380 horsepower, 120 tank. Tanks are the same, speed's the same, weight's the same, just more uh, horsepower. Let's just double click on the uh, extra horsepower version of this pickup truck, TLX 2020. Here's your presets. Standard, preset one, standard, preset one. Uh, wheel brand, continental, snow tires, mudding, different mudding ones, off road, high performance, sport, and basics. And then back to continental. Wheel setup, got standard three, two, one. And vinyls. You got all your different type of vinyls. Let's change that design color so you can see that a little better. Let's do like a dark blue. There you go. The vinyls, we have storage, farming, logistics, motors, or nothing. Pretty cool. Cab lights. We can put cab lights on top, square, rounded, or none. Window tint, we can go dark, medium, standard dark you know attachers we've got plow mounts on the front here we can put on there or none then like i said we got our v8 450 and 510 main color tons of colors to choose from do yellow we could do orange rim color blue and of course your license plate so on and on and on just keep in mind all those attachments our attachments. So let's actually go in here, start her up. Oh, one second. Disable that. All right, there we go. Fire this up. So you got to detach. So any attachment you buy for your vehicle, you're going to have to, you know, back up to it and hook it up. All right. Very nice. I got those beacons on top. Very cool. Tons of lights. <laughs> lights galore. I got the interior here. Very sharp. 82 Studio. Always does fine job. A lot of people been waiting for this. I know a lot of people will be excited. All right, so let's shut that bad boy down. And that is the TLX 2020 series by 82 Studio. All right, I know you're excited. That might be the most exciting thing today for uh, mods for most of you. But for me, I like all this stuff. I'm definitely gonna check out, let's, let's save the John Deere's. Well, now let's just hop into it. John Deere's are awesome. Uh, this is an epic pack here. And this is cross-platform, which is the greatest part of it. This is made by Sid Modding, the John Deere 9R, 9RT, 9RX 2019 series. Uh, Sid Modding, it's going to be in the large tractors category, manufacturer John Deere. And uh, let's check it out, man. There's some good stuff on here. Hop into the store. Uh, let's start with the 9RT series. 
Uh, it's going to have 517 horsepower base, power shift, 1,324 fuel tank, 94 with the def, 24 mile per hour operating speed weights, 21 ton, $387,500. All right, front weight, 1,200, 700, 200, zero. Rock box, which looks awesome. The rock box there. Standard. We got EU set up. Aussie set up. Your US version set up. Alright, we also have triangles no, triangles yes. There's your triangles. If you're on an Aussie or US, you'll just have your triangles. Alright, screen is going to be yes or no. If you look right here in the cockpit, there's a screen monitor. Yes, no, yes. We'll keep it on there. Numbers. You can go from 1 to 19. You could have 19 different setups of all these tractors, or all the same, whatever floats your boat. Uh, 517 horsepower up to 628 horsepower, 572, 517. I'll keep it at 628. Track setup, standard, wide with weights, or just wide. Standard, wide with weights, wide. All right, main color, that is your windows. You got standard blue, which is pretty sharp, and gray. And you can do your license plate. That is sharp. Very nice. Then you got the 9RX series, which is the one we have sitting on the pad there. There's EU version, Aussie, and US version. Zoom out a little bit. Uh, front weights, same as before, 1,200, 700, 200, 100, and rock box. We have the screen in or out. Numbers, 1918s, you know, all the way up to 19, pretty sweet. We got 517 horsepower, 572, 627. Everything's going to be the same on all three tractors, just different type of tractor. You know what I'm saying? So that's the 9RX series, and then you got your 9R series. This is a beast of a tractor. We got Trellborg, Bredestein, EKT, Midas, Continental, Michelin, uh, let's throw some big old BKTs on there and look at the options. Standard, twin wheels, twin with weights, twin with weights in the front or the rear. Back to standard. Got your EU set up, Aussie set up, and your US set up. Same screen, numbers, all that's the same. It's got a three point hitch or a trailer hitch, three point or trailer. All right, what else we got going on here? Engine power, 462, 517, 572, 627, 670. So you got like four different options on that. And of course your windows and license plate. But that's by Sid modding three new tractors. And uh, I got one sitting over here. I got one sitting over here. Now with this comes the Demco pack or the Demco tank I guess you could say so that is also by Sid Modding that's made to go on that tractor right there it's available in 350 or 500 gallon high capacity side mount tanks uh, mounting design location provide for excellent operator visibility uh, it's gonna have a total capacity of 37,8500, and costs 8,000 bucks. Intended for the John Deere 8R, 8RT, 8RX, US 2020 version, Challenger MT700 and 800, John Deere 9RT US. Has three color configurations, three sticker options. It's manufactured Demco. It's gonna be in the fertilizer spreaders category. And that's by Sid Modding and Brent Ellenberg. Cross-platform too, by that's what I'm talking about. Check that out there. Looking very nice. And there's the 9070 RT John Deere. Tracks. Got the pipes coming out here. Yeah. Looks sweet. Let's check out the looks up here. 8,000 bucks. 850 kilograms. It can do herbicide and liquid fertilizer. And we got options with wheels or tracks. That means the 9RT with the wheels, you would want wheels connection. 
If you got tracks like the one I just showed you, we want to have it set up like this. Logos, we got different ones. We got Demco, Side Quest by Demco, Demco Side Quest. They got a few different uh, logo options there. Main color could be yellow, white, or gray. Very nice. Very nice. I did like that. I did I indeed did like that right there. All right, let's check out the interior of the tractor. Sharp interior. We got the tinted windows. There's that monitor we added. Uh, just really flush, looking very nice. That awesome loading screen, John Deere. Detach your uh, side quest. All you gotta do is back up to it to hook back up. That'll give you extra fertilizer storage when you're pulling a planter or sprayer. There you go. Very nice. Get all those lights and gadgets off. All right. We are almost done. We're going to move over to this bad boy right here. This is a new AULW3500TA-TR. And this is an auger wagon. Of course, it's going to be in your auger wagon category. We got two different versions. We got the two axle and the three axle. Eighty-nine thousand for the two axle, ninety-five thousand for the three axle. Now, let me find more information real quick. That is made by Schnibble Modding. Schnibble Modding, and it is in the auger wagons category. Like I said, manufacturer is Haw. All right. That is needed power, 270 horsepower, I believe. Uh, yeah, 270 for the three axle, 250 for the two axle. Let's take a look at the two axle options here. We got Trailboard, Redestein, BKT, Michelin, and then we got your license plate. You can't change the color, nothing like that. What you see is what you get, but it is sharp, and it holds quite a bit of uh, grain for you while you're out there in the fields. Weighs 10.1 ton. And real quick, here's the three axle. Same exact thing, but with an extra axle. Different tires. And bada bing, bada boom. This one does require 270 horsepower. All right, let's take a look at the Lizard 6M. Uh, that is for plowing, I believe. Let me make sure. Yep, that is in the category plows. Made by Roddy Christie One, VSR Modding Sir. And it's the Lizard manufacturer. It has a six meter width and working speed of 20 kilometers per hour. It cost 8,000 bucks. Uh, does it say how much horse? You need 180 horsepower. And you can change the color. Change it to whatever color you want. Some detail there. And I have it sitting in the field here detail on it your warning placards on there those are not changeable those are there for the long haul all right let's take a look at this bad boy the crown comprima f-155 xc this thing looks pretty stinking sweet uh, let's go click on that and it has three different wheel options which is pretty stinking cool and this is made by the ARM team. It's going to be in the Baylor's category, Manufactory Crone. Price $60,000. Has body, rim, wheels, tandem and single axle, fully animated. Uh, let's click on this and check it out. You're going to need 70 horsepower to operate it. Not bad. 3.4 ton is what it weighs. It makes bales between 125 and 180, 10 mile per hour operating speed all right so you got your trail board better to stein bkt back to trail board here's your wheel setup so you got your single you got your big single then you got your tandem big tandem back to your single so let's just take a look at the big tandem that is cool you got a few color options here rim color whatever whatever you want all right license plate bada bing bada boom 
And uh, pretty sweet. Very nice. I'll be using that. Fau All right, let's take a look at the Flegel DPW 210. This is a bale trailer. Uh, this is made by Land Dev. It's going to be in bale loaders category. It's cross platform. Doesn't say anything about automatic. I think you just kind of. I mean, I have it hooked up. We can take a look at it here. But first, let's look at the options trailboard, tires, Continental, Michelin, BKT, Bitterstein. Uh, we got standard, wide tires, narrow tires, back to standard. You can, folding machine mechanism can do loading left, loading right, loading left. Main colors, whatever you want. Rim color, whatever you want. And license plate. I do have it sitting on the field here, so let's go check it out. And since we're <laughs> in it, <laughs> this is the Linder Lintrack 90. This is also newly added today. Uh, this is by Agrar Design Austria and Mr. Steyer. This is the Lindar Lintrack 90. It's going to be in the small tractors category, and it's cross-platform as well. Top speed, 43 kilometers per hour, 102 horsepower. It's going to cost about $85,000. So let's give this thing started up. Lots of light options, beacon options on it. Here's your interior, nice and fresh. Little seat, oh, little tractor with a little spare seat there. Very nice. All right, let's get those high beams off. Check out this new uh, trailer. All right, so unfold trailer. So <laughs> you got to load that stuff yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to load your bales yourself. And this will close up when you're done. And you can transport them. The manual bale loading. But pretty stinking cool. Put your big square bales, round bales, whatever floats your boat. Any bale you want in there, uh, that's what you'll be able to use that for. A pretty sweet tractor. We were able to cover both of those mods by having that hooked up together. I think I went over everything. Did I go over everything? I think I did. Yeah, we covered everything on the list today, chat. Uh, that's quite a handful of stuff along with the patch 1.3. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Go use some of this new awesome stuff. Thank you all modders. Your names will be in the credits in the description. Always awesome to see new things added to Farm Sim 22. Enjoy the latest update, everybody. Go get some of this new stuff. Have a great day. This is the International Farmer signing off. Have a good one, ladies and gentlemen.